I don't have my. Welcome to Shane Um So they're about the Pope and the Rebbe and people using the Rebbe as a, as a source. Um, uh, Yiddishkeit goes by halacha. Halacha goes by halacha kebasre. It goes by poskim. Poskim decide, and the poskim also have to ask help by people who know what's going on al asar. Obviously, the Pope is not really a religious person at heart, so he's not really an avoid He wears a uh, yarmulke. The Pope is educated man. He gives credence to science over over faith, and he's uh, he uses he's very clever about it. Obviously, understands the masses are asses, and there's not much you can do. But what we need to do in Chabad for those who care is to spread around as much as possible the fact that Rabbi Pinson was removed from Chabad.org, and even though there is a, um, a, that's a kind of blackmail and backlash for no reason. This was a Kiddush Hashem. This wasn't a published article. In, in, in any case, this was something that was private. Uh, it's just a video that's leaked because of the way everyone has a camera and everybody can share things quickly. Um, the, the basing it on the fact that the Rebbe said that um, that uh, you, you that meeting the Pope is not um, representing Judaism, and the Rebbe used, uh, uh, which is not true, obviously the Pope understands that only rational um, leaders come to meet another faith. This is how it always is. So, so obviously we're not talking about the, 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 the Pope doesn't think that the people visiting him, any delegation is it, it may be the Italian community which are very rational, the Minag Talki, the Rome Italian community had very good relations with the Goyim even during the war with Hitler a lot of Goyim went out of their way to save Jews um, and, and uh, they were also rational in Halacha they would drink wine that wasn't um, watched by a Jew and then they uh, in Milano as well and the other small communities as, as, this is a very old tradition of rabbis that were and they had mystics in, in Italy as well, but nevertheless, they, they had a very good uh, relationship. Uh, uh, that's rule number one. The Rebbe brings an ayah from other Muslims who didn't go meet the Pope, and that's the Rebbe's logic, which is very poor. Uh, according to Halacha, the Rebbe is way off, and I'm going to try to do another few Sheni V'chamishis showing you how in the Rebbe's Sichas, it's a very loose philosophy, um, and definitely not Eiskehalten, according to Puskim. We are a religion of Puskim. The Puskim decide, and that is the rule. That's how Judaism survives. That's how we got rid of the death penalty and other crazy laws. Um, we, we, uh, 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 of course, the masses believe stuff, but uh, there's no contamination. The, uh, I don't know if you watched before Shade of Hamishi, where I took my friend to a who was very angry with Yiddish from from Bechlal religion. Uh, he wanted to know what Ash Wednesday was. I showed him the church and I explained to him it's just a tax-free building with believers in it. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Santa Monica uh, Church. It's uh, very close to where we're sitting now. And um, and he's uh, and he was afraid to, to go inside this uh, church uh, psychologically. And he's secular and he, he doesn't keep Shabbos for many years. And I explained to him why he was psychologically afraid and there's nothing there. Um, and especially the Pope, who is an open-minded man, probably doesn't believe in a personal or supernatural God. Of course, he wears a cloak because it's a very high position and it's a point of leadership. And, and we need, if anything, we need somebody that's not a believer to be in that position. Otherwise, you'll have someone like the Rebbe who's telling you that Mashiach is on the way, so don't go for higher education and so on and so forth. And believers will believe anything, as the Rebbe said to Rabbi Wiener, the Reform Rabbi. They'll believe in anything. Nine and a half mystics. Nine and a half mystics, yeah. So, so uh, um, the fact that the Rebbe said something that's not his gehalten, according to Paschim, the Rebbe said he's a shulchan aruch yid, which means he's not above the law. Taking something that the Rebbe said that he's not around today and to cause machleikus with it is even a bigger chil Labavich than all the chil Labaviches that the Rebbe himself made. The, if the Alt Rebbe was alive today, seeing the Rebbe giving out magical dollars and pretending that he has magical powers, the Alt Rebbe would be, well, say turning over in his grave, but if figuratively, if he was around today, he would condemn it. The Alt Rebbe didn't allow people to make him into a magician or a messiah. So, and definitely not a false prophet, which is a biblical dairaisa, uh, Navi Sheker. But, um, but um, if you want your kids to be able to be rational, you have to explain to them that, that uh, or be able to give your kids a little bit of, of, of sense of what's going on, so they shouldn't have to be ashamed of being Chabad. I'm not ashamed of being raised in Chabad. There's nothing wrong with it. We are a human story, just like anyone 
anyone else. Uh, teach your kids that we are not uh, responsible for things the Rebbe said, especially when he spoke recklessly and unresponsibly, and he wasn't disciplined. He wouldn't consult with other people. Does this make any sense so far? Yes. The Rebbe wouldn't consult, consult with, with Paskim. He said he was a Shulchan Aruch Yid, so that's a wonderful thing you can use when speaking to someone who's irrational. You say the Rebbe is a, a Shulchan Aruch Yid, and therefore he's not above the law, which means we can ask questions and we, he can, and we can do a scrutiny. And we can ask questions about him, and we, can, um, uh, we have the right to ask questions, and he, uh, ha he, he is uh, basically um, uh, uh, below the law like every other citizen. Uh, and he can, if he claims that he speaks to God, it's just as valid as if anybody else claims that. A as if a poor Jew claims that. Um, this well, is... A, prayer, prayer is speaking to God. No, we're talking about the Rebbe and pretends that he gets supernatural information. He had a box at the oil, a closed door, where he pretends he speaks to the Friedrich Rebbe. We went over this in the class. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, if a poor Jew pretends he speaks to the Friedrich Rebbe, nobody would accept it. That's why Jesus was so famous, because all the emperors were sons of God. But when you say a poor Jew is a son of God, that became a famous religion. Does that make any sense? So explain to your kids that there's no such a thing as a, a stupid question. A lot of times when people can't answer it and they, and they can't use force, so they'll use ridicule. And they'll go, oh, you're mentally crazy and this and that. They ha happened on the group, but uh, sounds Lubavitch, but okay. Some guy tried to use rationalism as, as a, me a mental illness. He was like, oh, he has mental problems. If, if somebody has... Um, 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 it's not a sign of robust mental health when somebody claims Mashiach is on the way or screams by a Fabrengana, Dein Leiba! on a Tuesday that Mashiach is not here when there's simply no signs for it. There's regular world events that you watch on your television sets and those are not different than all the other events that the Shalav fell for it and many others fell for these uh, Kitzim. And uh, Chazal were not into that. Chazal were very clear about it. They were not into magicians and messiahs. And our children believed it. And that, 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 uh, that era should be over. We can go into a new modern age of enlightenment and, and rational thinking over blind faith. And uh, have a better uh, future for our kids. Um, of There's limits to rational thinking. Is there limits to blind faith? You see, yeah, many people go like, blind. whoa, there's limits to blind faith, yeah, like how far could you go? How far could you not go? Um, uh, so therefore, uh, that's it for Shani B'chamishi. It's a very, uh, oh, the best activism that you can do is to tell people in Manhattan, I know a girl, she would give $500 before Lichtsenden to Chabad.org or any name of the, some yard site, she would go and give it in, just like those other websites you see in Israel that are fraudulent. When a website pushes a rabbi off for no reason, tell as many people as possible, get it in the newspapers. This is the only way we can keep um, 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 our, our uh, society accountable for such behavior. Tell people what they did. If you say, oh, it's not my fault, I was just carrying out orders, it's someone else. That's a stupid uh, game. It doesn't work like that in a, in a proper, uh, responsible system, uh, obviously. And the person who is responsible should be able to answer for it. If you took a person like Rabbi Pinsonov, who's a major Kiddush Lubavitch and is wonderful in, in his work, uh, he, people are into Kabbalah and mysticism and stuff like that. They come to his class from Manhattan, and when they see him, then they get a taste for 770 and Crown Heights and the Rebbe, if that's what you guys are still believe that's the agenda. Um, uh, so, telling as many people as possible this story is the best thing you can do. You go to a guy's office in Manhattan, I'm to him, instead of putting on film on the guy, show him that you care about activism. Show him you care about something that's important. Show him that you care about fixing systems. Everybody understands religious systems have people in it. And those people inside are innocent. So everyone cares. If you want to have a good geschmooze with a professor or a secular person on a train, Michael Steinhardt, tell Michael Steinhardt you're trying to do activism. And Chabad.org kicked off a rabbi for me a pope. Tell that to Michael Steinhardt. Tell that to George Rohr. See what happens. No, nobody's as crazy as someone who goes by Fabrengen and, and gets a moral panic about someone meeting a pope. When this pope is meeting people, both sides are secular and rational. Both sides understand that religion is the, is, is, is the saddest 
piece of history of mankind and all this crazy, idiotic. And besides, Avaidah Zada that the Rebbe spoke, the Rebbe really doesn't know his history. I'm going to show uh, in a future one uh, based on some gem videos. Uh, 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 the time of the Beis Amikdash, the time when Henotheism, in the meantime, between when the Jews were going from polytheism to monotheism, and the uh, Hebrew God says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. At that time, there was no monotheistic Christianity and Islam. So the Avoid the Zara that we were talking about is absolutely not. And it's so ironic that a man who is kind of a God manifest, who Christians and Jews in Rome were killed not to bow down to an emperor, such a guy who, who has people putting his picture in the Sadurim, is going and talking about and making a moral panic out of it. It is so ironic. It is so laughable to any Ben Taita. And uh, again, we're not responsible uh, for, for uh, ironically, for Achil done by it's the very, the, the very Kveit Kedushas Admar. Uh, thank you for watching.